Hello guys and welcome. In this video we are going to cover how to identify different hash types using four different methods. The first method is using Haiti. To use Haiti in CAD Linux we need to install it via RubyGems. So what you need to do is open up terminal and type in sudo apt install RubyGems. Once RubyGems is installed we need to run sudo gem install Haiti hash as shown on screen here. Now to confirm that it's installed, all we have to do is type in Haiti. So next, what I'm going to do is get a hash to put into Haiti. So here I have a hash type here and I want to try and identify what the hash is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this hash. Type in Haiti and then paste in the hash afterwards. Okay, so this is what the results look like. So Haiti believes it is most likely an MD5 hash. And take note of this section here where it says HC and JTR. So when we come to crack in these hashes, we need to specify a mode in these uh, tools. So HC is short for Hashcat and JTR is short for John the Ripper. In future videos, we will be looking at how to use Hashcat and John the Ripper. But for now, we are just looking at different ways we can identify hashes. So the next example that I just quickly want to show is a different hash type. So I'm just going to pull up this text document here. And as you can see, Haiti believes that this is a SHA-256 hash. And as you can see, just pointing this bit out here again, comparing it to the first one that we put through, the number here is different. So as I said a minute ago, we will be looking at how to use Hashcat and John the Ripper and the importance of making sure that we select the correct modes. So the next tool I want to showcase is Hash ID. So in the latest Kali version, this is already available. So all you have to do is type in hash ID. So I'm just going to use this same SHA-256 hash again. So I'm just going to paste that in. Okay. And then what we can do is we can tack the following flags. So I can put dash M and dash J. So dash M shows me the mode needed for Hashcat and dash J shows me the format needed for John the Ripper. So looking at the results here, this hash is a SHA-256 and we can see the Hashcat mode needed is 1400 and the John the Ripper format needed is raw SHA-256. If I just go back and grab that first hash that we used, Okay, so the same flags again, so dash M and dash J. Okay, so this hash is actually an MD5 hash. So the hash cap mode is zero and the John the Ripper format is raw MD5. So the next tool that I want to show is uh, hash identifier. So the same with hash ID, this is on the latest version of Kali Linux. So all you have to do is type in hash identifier and press enter. And then from here, all you do is type in the or paste in the hash. And here we can see the possible hashes that this hash here could be. So here we, again, we've got SHA-256 and like I said before, this is a SHA-256 hash. If I take that MD5 hash and just paste it in on hash identifier. We can see here that the possible hashes are MD5 and like I said, this is an MD5 hash. So yeah, that is hash identifier. 